if p q r s are distinct single digit positive numbers okay remember distinct all of them are different what is the greatest value of p plus q multiplied by q plus r i need to find the maximum possible value of the product so clearly if i need to maximize this product so numbers or the digits you should be the highest possible digits right since all of them are distinct i need to use different digits for p q r r and s so it should be the highest uh, digits right so the highest possible digits here could be 6 7 8 9 so these are the digits we're going to use for p q r and s i need to maximize this the product okay so there are two approaches you can use approach number 1 so i need to find what is the maximum value of p plus q times r plus s you just you can try it out different combination right p and q could be 6 and 7 so i'm just trying out different combination one is 6 and 7 could be one pair 6 and 8 could be one pair as well as 6 and 9 could be one pair so there are total three pairs possible so i'm just listing out out different possibilities here and find out which pair will give you the maximum product okay let's take the first one where 6 and 7 i'm taking as a first pair so it's going to be 6 plus 7 first pair so remaining two numbers two other digits will be the other pair it's going to be 8 plus 9 which is equivalent to 6 plus 7 is uh, 13 times 8 plus 9 is uh, uh, it's going to be 17 right this is going to be the first product what about the next one i'm taking the second pair 6 and 8 these two are as the second pair so it's 6 plus 8 so other two numbers will form the remaining pair which is going to be 7 plus 9 So, which is equal to six plus eight is fourteen, times seven plus nine is sixteen. Uh, the last one is nothing but six and nine, and the remaining is going to be seven plus eight, which is equal to fifteen times fifteen, which is easy to know the product, right? Fifteen square is which is nothing but twenty five. So, I clearly know that one of the answer I got is two twenty five. So, I just need to check whether this product is uh, greater than two twenty five or not. So clearly, I can at this stage I can clearly eliminate option C and D. Any value or any answer choices less than two twenty five, you can directly eliminate. So at this stage, your answer is either A or B. So you can one way you can do is you can find out the product here. Thirteen times twenty one would be around two twenty one. Fourteen times sixteen is gonna be around two twenty four. So clearly, I can say that these two numbers are less than two twenty five. So your answer has to be option B, or you can logically analyze it. Okay, so only one answer choice is above two twenty five is two thirty. You can check the unit digit here. Three times seven will not give you unit digit zero. So this product is not going to be ending with zero. Similarly, this product is not going to end with zero. So clearly, you can say that two thirty is not possible. Option B is the only possibility. So either way around, you can get to the answer. You can use logic as well as uh, your reasoning skills to get to the answer. This is one approach. Where we list down the different possible scenarios and find out in which scenario you are getting the maximum value of product. Second approach is nothing but you have a product of two uh, sums here, right? One is p plus q. You are multiplying by another product, another sum, which is r plus s. So I need to maximize the product here. So remember, there is a one rule that you can always use in this case. If A sum is given. I'm taking. I'm giving an example. Let's say you have two numbers a plus b. You have two numbers a and b. Okay, and the sum is given as ten. Sum is equal to ten. I need to find what are the maximum value of the product. I need to find the maximum value of the product of a b. I need to find what value is going to be the maximum when you multiply a and b. I'm just writing down the different possible scenarios. A and b are positive uh, integers or positive integers. Okay. positive integers one possibility is uh, i'm taking out different possible scenarios for a and b one is a is equal to 1 that means b should be 9 right because sum is 10 this always should be true sum is equal to 10 so 1 plus 9 will give you 10 so the product ab is going to be equal to 9 next scenario is 2 and 8 the product is going to be 2 times 8 is uh, 16 then it's going to be 3 times 7 3 and 7 it's 21 4 and 6 uh, Which is twenty-four, uh, then it's five five, it's twenty-five again. It's going to be the repetition here. Six four, it's the same product you're going to get. So out of this product, the maximum is going to be twenty-five when a and b are equal. 
right? When a and b are equal. So the property here is if sum is given, let's say sum is equal to 10, the product is maximum if both the values are equal. That means each of them are equal means 10 by 2 is 5 times 5 will give you the max product which is equal to 25. So I'm going to apply this rule here. Here I know that you need to find the maximum value of the two products here. One is a P plus Q and R plus S, right? I know that PQRS, uh, the only possible digits that you can use for PQRS are uh, 6, 7, 8, 9. But we don't know which one is for PQ. I don't know which uh, digit you can use respectively for each variable that we don't know. That you need to figure out, right? But I know that these are the only digits that you can use here. 6, 7, 8, 9. But here the sum you can easily find out, right? The sum of the product here is you are adding P plus the sum is nothing but P plus Q plus R plus S. This is the sum. So sum is equal to 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9, which is equal to 13. 6 plus 7 is 13. 13 plus 8 is 21 plus 9 is 30. So sum is given. I can use the same rule here. If sum is given, the product is maximum when each of the values are equal. So that means 30 by 2 is 15. So each of one of them are 15 and 15, the product is going to be maximum. So 15 times 15, 225 is the maximum value. So this is another approach that you can use. But you need to know that uh, property. If you, do, if you don't know the property, that means you need to stick to the approach number one. If you know this property, now you know, right, you can always use this whenever you the sum is provided. If I need to maximize the product, you can always use this property. Both the terms should be equal if I need to maximize the product.